Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new haul video. So today I have a rather exciting autumn haul for you guys. It's a gigantic ASOS haul and I do say gigantic so I hope you guys have grabbed a cup of tea or a coffee, whatever your beverage of choice is and some biscuits because we are about to get into it. <laughs> I feel like ASOS is always such a good place to go to when you're looking to update your autumn wardrobe and add some new pieces in because obviously you've got ASOS own brand but also there's so many brands on there, so many different designs, so many different trends. I absolutely love it. So I got a little bit spendy, I spent a lot of money on ASOS and I'm kind of obsessed with what has come in. And of course I will be doing this as a try on so you can see exactly what the pieces look like. You will have already seen some featured on my feed because as soon as this ASOS haul arrived, I literally ran straight out to shoot it. So some of the pieces have already been like worn and shot and like already gone on the gram and you guys are already loving it so far which makes me so so happy and it also makes me think you're gonna love what else is coming your way. So let's jump straight into the video and I will show you what I've been picking up from ASOS for autumn. So the first item is probably the most autumnal thing you have ever seen in your life and that is a brown chunky knit cardigan. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the chunky knit. I absolutely love them. It's such a big trend this year and I feel like they're just so, so easy to style, so easy to wear and above all, they're comfy. So it's a win-win for me. So I picked up this gorgeous, really, really autumnal, like rusty brown color and I I'm so obsessed with it. Now I wanted to get it in a 10, but the 10s were all sold out online. So I picked it up in a 12 and I won't lie, it's looking a little bit oversized. I would have wanted it more like this kind of fit, where it's like a little bit baggy, but like not too like oversized or anything. Um, but nonetheless, I still really like it. I think it's really, really cute. It's so soft and cozy. I'm not the kind of person that likes itchy fabrics. I need it to be soft, soft, and soft again. And this is really, really cozy. So I can't wait to try this on. I absolutely love how it looks on the hanger and I feel like I'm gonna love it even more on. So before we get into the outfit, um, I need your guys' help with what you prefer because I've tried doing, like obviously try-ons like this and I've also tried doing them in the mirror and I wanna know which ones you guys prefer. I think it's probably easier to see the outfits like this for you guys, but the only issue is that, because I don't wear my glasses, <laughs> I'm really really blind and um, I can't really see the camera that well so I can't see when I'm like in focus and when you can see the whole outfit I mean this is all just a blur to me so let me know what you guys prefer it's sometimes if I do it this way I do think that's probably best for you guys but it sometimes might mean that like things aren't exactly perfectly in shot or anything um, so please don't get annoyed at me if that's the case because I have had a couple of comments being like oh my god you've carved the bottom half and I'm like sorry I can't see like anything so I don't know how much of me is in shot um anyway this is the cardigan I absolutely love it it's so so cozy as I said it is very very big like if I untuck it it is very oversized and like the sleeves are balloon sleeves but they don't come in that tight so it does mean that when I put my arms down it is very long on me but I mean if it's a chunky cozy cardigan you kind of expected it just to be really really cute and cozy anyway doesn't matter too much that it's like a little bit big it really doesn't bother me at all um so yeah i love it the color is just so autumnal i mean if this isn't, isn't just the most autumnal cardigan you've ever seen in your life then you're lying <laughs> that's just the end of it i absolutely love this it's so cute so cozy so easy to style and i'm obsessed absolutely obsessed now the next item i picked up we are jumping straight into autumnal weather with this one and that is also because the temperature has dropped and I am feeling the cold a lot more. And I saw this online and I fell in love. Now I've been waiting a couple of weeks for them to bring it out in a petite and it doesn't look like they're going to. Although I say that, guarantee, I've literally just bought it for myself, guarantee in like a week's time it's gonna come out in a petite. But alas, I just wanted it really, really badly. So I picked it up and it's this really, really gorgeous green trench coat. Now it's got a really stunning mix of like khaki green mixed in with sage green, which looks so, so cool. It's like double lined. So it's obviously only double lined like the kind of front bit. It's not actually going all the way through. So it's not too warm. The perfect kind of trench coat thickness, if you ask me. And I just absolutely love it. I got this in a 10 um, because with trench coats, you don't want to go oversized. Like they're big enough as it is. And looking at this, I could have probably even sized down to an eight, but I would rather it be a bit looser that when we get into winter, I can wear like chunky knits and hoodies and jumpers underneath rather than having it too tight. But I absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous color. You guys know I'm obsessed 
with anything green at the moment. Sage, khaki, mint, I am here for it. So this is just the sage coat of dreams for me. So I love it. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on. So this is the trench coat. I am obsessed. I absolutely love it. As I said, it obviously is very big. Like it does come down all the way down to my boots, but I think it's really cute. And especially when you just do the little tie up, like I feel like it looks really, really cool with the jewel tone green. Like I just really, really like that. And then, you know me, I love a little leg pop. <laughs> so I'll always do a little leg pop out of my trench, but no, I honestly, I'm obsessed with this. I think it just looks really, really cool, really chic and flattering. I just don't have any more good words to say about it. It is such a cute coat. I am just so, so in love with it. It wouldn't be an autumnal haul without a new blazer. So I picked up this gorgeous blazer from ASOS. It's also ASOS Design as well. Um, I picked this one up in a 10. Now this is a very difficult color to kind of describe. I think online it's called like mocha maybe it is a very like it's like brownie but with a hint of almost like a pink undertone it's a really really pretty color i haven't seen anything like this online so when i saw it on asos i was like i need that in my life and another design about it that i haven't really seen elsewhere is that it's got black buttons obviously tortoiseshell buttons came in style like a couple of years ago i feel like all blazers now have tortoiseshell buttons so for it to be a bit different with the black buttons i thought it was just really really interesting i really really liked this it's perfect kind of like blazer thickness not too thick not too like you're going to be sweating in autumn but the perfect kind of thickness just to throw over like jeans and a nice top when it is a little bit cooler out it does have slightly padded shouldered which i really really like it is a bit more of like a granddad blazer style a bit more oversized a bit more loose fitting which is exactly what i like in autumnal blazers so i can't wait to show this on so i can't wait to try this on and show you guys what it looks like this i feel like is my new favorite blazer and here we have the blazer. As I said, it is gorgeous. I am obsessed with it. It's like very, very oversized. As I said, this is a 10. I could have easily gone down to an eight if I wanted it a bit more fitted, but I did want it to be very oversized, especially so that in like autumn, winter, I can wear hoodies and jumpers and like more layers underneath and I don't have to worry about it being too tight. I mean, like as you can see, I can literally wrap it around me, but I really like it. It's like very granddad style and very, just quite casual actually for a blazer i do sometimes struggle when i have blazers i don't want to look too formal and this is very easy to start with just like jeans and like a nice top and you don't have to worry about you looking too overdressed so um yeah lengthwise is a little bit long on me but obviously it's not a petite style so i was kind of expecting that to be a bit more long line but i think it's okay like it doesn't come down too far and i just love it i really like the color it's such an interesting color i don't know what i would describe this as but i'm obsessed with it so yeah really great autumnal blazer for the autumn weather next up we have a gorgeous little skater skirt now you guys know i absolutely love skater skirts for autumn i feel like they're just so flattering and really easy to style i love chucking them on with like a chunky cardigan and a pair of chunky boots and i just think they look so so cool so i picked this up this really gorgeous burgundy colored one now it's a bit more of like a school skirt style um obviously you have the kind of like skater pleated look at the back but at the front it's got like a panel which really reminds me of school skirts. I didn't have a school that had skirts like this, but I know a lot of people that went to schools that had like skirts like this. And I just think it's really, really cute. It's like a, definitely like an in style at the moment to go for a very like schoolgirl kind of a look. And I'm kind of here for it. I really, really like it. Um, so this has a clasp and a button closure which I know a lot of people don't like because it does mean when it gets windy there is a chance of you flashing but I feel like if you just put a little pair of cycling shorts underneath then you don't have to worry too much also it's an extra layer to keep you warm so perfect now I picked this up in a 12 which is like my normal size on bottom and it looks perfect the length looks really really nice actually it doesn't look too long for a mini skirt but it also doesn't look too short so I feel like this is going to fit a wide range of heights which is absolutely perfect so yeah love this the most autumnal skirt I could possibly have in my wardrobe. And here we have the little skater skirt. I absolutely love how it looks. As I said, very schoolgirl vibes, but I think it's really, really cute. I quite like the big pleat at the front. I think it's quite flattering. Then obviously you've got the much more like, lots of like little skater pleats at the back. And yeah, I love it. Perfect autumnal color. Burgundy is so, so in every single autumn. You just can't go wrong with it. It goes so well with lots of like neutral tones as well, which obviously 
most of my wardrobe is made out of neutrals so that's perfect for me it's gonna go with a lot of my wardrobe and I really like it styled up with like boots and chunky knits I think it's very very flattering lengthwise obviously it's not too short on me which I quite like but I do have it like quite high on my waist so I wouldn't worry too much if you are a bit taller I don't think this will be too short on you um, because you can obviously pull it up it means that you can make it a bit shorter if you are a petite girl like myself so yeah really love this skirt I think it's really cute <laughs> Now, unless you have literally been living under a rock, you will be very familiar with the knitted vest trend. And I found this one online and I fell in love. It's actually from Only, which is a brand I've never shopped at. I just saw it on ASOS um, as I was scrolling through the new in and I fell in love with it. It's a lot thinner than a lot of the chunky knits that I've seen. A lot of the knitted vests are really, really thick. And I just think it's not quite the weather for that at the moment. It's still like double digits and I don't want to be sweating too much in my outfits. So I picked up this one in an extra large because I wanted it to be really, really oversized. And it's the perfect size. Very like baggy very loose fitting but also very very flattering i really really like how these look i think they're just so so cool and obviously so on trend they came on trend first i think it was last winter and i don't think a lot of people were expecting to see them come back this year but they have come back with a vengeance any single one i've seen online has sold out like that so i will link it down below it was very low in stock when i bought it so hopefully it's still in store for you guys to shop but if not i will try and link a couple of alternatives down below but i really really love this one i think it is just so so cute and this is what the knitted vest looks like on. I really, really like it. I think it's really cute. Obviously, really like oversized. If I pull it down full length, it is flipping huge. Um, so yeah, I really like how it looks. I think it's really, really cute, really comfy, really easy to style up and very, very on trend for autumn this year. Now, it's obviously a much more like warm toned cream, um, but I quite like how it looks against the white. I think it's a bit different and it doesn't make the outfit like blend all together. So yeah, really like how this looks. I think it's such a cool outfit for autumn winter. And we have another blazer. I absolutely love updating my wardrobe with blazers for autumn. I feel like it's just such a necessity when it comes to autumn styling. Now this is a bit more of like a long line of blazer. Now it's actually belted which I really like about it. I think it's really, really cool. And one thing I love about the belt is that it's got buttons, so it means you won't lose the belt at the back even if you like don't have it actually belted up, which is always one of my biggest pet peeves when there's just like a little bit of rope holding onto the belt and it like falls down behind you. It drives me nuts. Of course, it is in green because I can't do a single haul without at least a couple of sage items. So of course I picked this up. It's like a, a bit more of a darker sage color, like, it's not quite khaki, but it's not exactly sage. It's a very difficult color to describe, but I really, really like it. Now this does have the more classic tortoise shell buttons, but I think it goes well with the green. The brown and the green looks really, really nice together. Now I picked this up in a 12 because I wanted this to be able to be styled as a dress as well. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen I've posted this as like a dress style and styled it up in a few different ways. Oh, I've actually done a reel styling this blazer up a couple of different ways so i will link that down below if you want to watch it um but i just love it i think it's such a gorgeous blazer such a classic item to add into your wardrobe and really really easy to style and then here we have the sage green blazer i'm absolutely obsessed with this if you saw my reel you would have seen that there's a lot of different ways to style this like i can wear it with jeans or i could button it up and tie the waist and literally like it's long enough to wear as a dress by itself so i'm in love with it so so flattering really easy to start i've just rolled up the sleeves a little bit and um, you can roll them up a couple of times to make it a bit more casual or you can keep them down to keep them more formal it's completely up to you but i love it i'm obsessed with this such a great blazer for autumn you guys are going to see so much of this on my feed <laughs> I feel like it's time to throw a bit of colour into the mix because I've been showing you a lot of neutral items but let's be honest, it's me. We're not exactly going to be throwing like yellows and oranges into the mix but I am throwing a blue. I saw this cardigan online and I just fell in love. Now it's very similar to the H&M one I bought a couple of weeks ago but as you guys would have seen I did take that back because it was absolutely huge on me and they didn't have any more in stock when I did my order. I think they do have more in stock on the H&M one now but i saw this and i was like that is really cute very similar color blue like it's a very mid wash blue i never know what color to describe this oh do you know what this is this is cerulean is it cerulean from the devil wears prada where she mocks her for the blue jumper you guys will know what i'm talking about 
but I really really like this I think it's really cute really gorgeous knit it's got a V neck which I think is quite nice because I've got a lot of cardigans that are more like round necked and a bit more high collared so I think this is nice for something a bit different in my wardrobe and it has got a lot of like trend driven aspects to it like the puffy sleeves kind of like balloon sleeves the fact that the buttons are the same color I just really like this I think it's such a great item to add into your wardrobe for autumn winter and we have another adorably cute and cozy cardigan I absolutely love this the color so so perfect I don't know if it's a bit too much blue with the jeans um I might be better off wearing it with a pair of like camel trousers or something more along those lines but I absolutely love this it's so so cozy really nice size as well I think I got it in 10 I can't remember and I haven't got anyone to check my label but I think I got it in a 10 and I absolutely love it it's so so comfy and cozy really perfect just to tuck in to a pair of trousers and go about your day this is why I love autumn styling because 90% of it is just cute and cozy looks and that's what we're here for <laughs> now the next thing I picked up was a bit of a spenny purchase and I'm gonna ask you guys whether you think I should keep it because it was a lot of money but I really really like it it's, it's this Ralph Lauren polo sweater and it's actually from the men's section I will link it down below but I love it now I'm not gonna lie I picked it up in a small and it's actually not as oversized as I thought it was gonna be like it's quite long and I think that's because it is a men's jumper but it's not as like baggy as I was expecting so I don't know even if I do want to keep it if I should maybe go for a medium I'm not entirely sure but it is just so soft and so cozy obviously it is white and I'm not exactly the best person when it comes to white clothes I spill I drip I'm clumsy but I always have Vanish at the ready in case something happens. So I'll show you what it looks like on, but it's just the softest, coziest sweater I've ever seen in my life. And I am a little bit obsessed with it. Hopefully this isn't going to make the camera go too funny because it obviously is very, very white. But I'm obsessed with this jumper, I mean, or sweater, sorry. If this isn't the cutest, coziest sweater you've ever seen, then I don't know what it is. It is so, so soft. It's a lot thicker as well than I was expecting. So probably if you're going to wear it now, you'd want to wear it with like a skirt and bare legs. And then when it gets more into like autumn, winter, you can wear it with jeans and like a coat and boots. And it would look really, really cute and keep you very very warm so yeah I absolutely love this the way that I've started as well as I've done the bra trick so I've like tucked it into my bra because I do find because it's a thicker fabric if you tuck it into your jeans you do get a bit of a bulge and it's not as flattering as when you tuck it into a bra so yeah let me know your thoughts about this one guys I absolutely love it but it obviously was very very spinny so is it worth the money in your opinion I kind of think it is but I want to hear your thoughts nonetheless <laughs> Now, the next item is something that I feel like you guys are going to go nuts for. I am obsessed. This top jumper sweater kind of a vibe. I think it's like a knit, very finely knitted jumper. It's quite thin, but it is just stunning. It has this gorgeous sweetheart neckline, and I am obsessed with it. It's very much inspired by, I can't remember the brand, but I know those tops that everyone's seen everywhere. They're so, so expensive, and this was very affordable I can't remember the exact price off the top of my head but obviously it will be linked in the description so you can shop it directly from this video but I'm in love it's so so cute and what I really like is not like too long lined that was one thing I didn't like about the other ones that I saw online is that they come down quite far which is great when you're tall but when you're short like me it's not so ideal um this is the perfect kind of length just to tuck into a pair of jeans and it's very very flattering now I got this in a 10 when it arrived, I was like, this is tiny, that's never going to fit. But actually, it's very, very stretchy and very, very flattering. Um, so I was a little bit worried that it was going to be like, it was going to highlight my rolls and just like be a bit unflattering. But actually, it's really, really lovely on. I really love the neckline. It's so open. It's really, really gorgeous, especially on me. As someone who doesn't have big shoulders, it actually makes me look a bit more like open on top. So I love this. I'm absolutely obsessed. Hopefully it will still be in stock when this video goes live because I'm not surprised if it's going to sell out really, really quickly. But if it does, bookmark the link and come back to it and check it daily because everyone needs this top in their wardrobe. <laughs> and this is the top. I keep flicking my hair back so you can see like the full effect of it. But I am so in love with it. It's really, really cute and cozy and really, really flattering it's just gorgeous like it's really soft as well and really really stretchy like look how much this can stretch I love that so I was really worried when it first arrived but actually it stretches so so nicely and it's really flattering like I'm not worried about back rolls or anything like that I love this 
so so much i must say i think if you have a bit more of a flatter chest it might sit a bit better on you i do worry about how this is going to be on girls with really big chests i mean i'd say i'm like in the middle i have a bit of a chest it's not the biggest in the world but like it's not the flattest and i do find that when i move about a bit it does sometimes ride up so you do need to kind of like pull it down so it's like on your neckline really nicely um so if you have a flatter chest it will probably sit better on you um if you have a bigger chest might be worth trying if you want to but that is just something to consider but i just love this it is so gorgeous so flattering i feel like i'm gonna wear this all the time next up we have this gorgeous shirt dress now i actually picked this up because i wanted to style it up with the knitted vest and i just love how that looks like white shirts underneath knitted vests i think just looks really classic really chic and really cute um so i thought this was perfect it's just a little white smock dress um, very classic, very simple, it's like a cotton fabric so it's quite thin but the perfect kind of layering item, I feel like you could wear this in so many different ways. So I picked this up in a 10 um, and the fit looks absolutely fine. The sleeves look a little bit tight but I feel like they'll be alright. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks really, really cute. Very classic item. I feel like everyone needs a shirt dress in their wardrobe for autumn. You just can't go wrong. This is what the white shirt dress looks like. Obviously, it's very, very understated, very simple. I probably wouldn't wear it by itself because I do find it's just a bit like nothingy. Um, but with like the knitted vest or with a jumper or like something thrown over the top, I think it's a really, really classic item to have in your wardrobe. It is a little bit long, like it does come down pretty much to my knees. Um, but I think it's okay, like I don't think I would want it to be too much shorter because obviously when you add layers on top, it kind of like would bring it up a little bit anyway. So yeah, really like this. Obviously it's very like, it looks a bit nothing here, but styled up with the specific pieces, it looks really, really cute. Now this next item is definitely going to be a love or hate kind of a thing. I personally love it. I mainly picked up this skirt because I really really love styling very like OTT tool kind of things so for a lot more editorial looks for my Instagram. If I'm doing like campaigns and I want it to look very like whimsical I feel like this is the perfect kind of vibe. Um, and also when I did my trip to Paris back in January I wore a lot of tool and it just looked really really cool next to like the street style kind of vibe with like boots, like a jumper. I just think it's really really cool. So I picked this up in a 12 I believe. Oh no, I picked it up in a 10, um, but don't know why I got a 10. Oh, I do know why. It's because tulle often comes quite oversized. And I have found a lot of skirts that I've picked up in 12s have been like, just, they've not been flattering. So I wanted it to be very tight on my waist so that the tulle would like come out a lot further and it'll be a bit more flattering. Um, but yeah, the length is quite long, but I think it would look really, really cool with some chunky boots and a little knitted top. And it's just very, very editorial and very perfect for my job. <laughs> That's the main reason I got this, is for my job. <laughs> okay, so this is the tool skirt. Now, obviously, I've just thrown it on with a little racer vest. I would not style it in this way, but this is what I had on hand. So I was like, just to show you what it looks like, I'll just throw this on. And I've got a pair of chunky boots just to show you what it would look like with shoes. But honestly, I'm obsessed with this. It's so cool. I really like the layers to it. I think it's very different for a tool skirt. Like, normally, it's obviously just one length. I think it just looks a bit different. I think it's really, really cute. Like, this is the kind of thing that I can actually style up quite a few ways. Like, I could wear it quite casually with maybe like a leather jacket thrown over the top and boots for like some events. Or you could even style it up quite nicely with a really lovely blouse on top and some dainty heels and wear it to a wedding. This is the kind of skirt you can wear a lot of different ways. So I know that for me, it's more like an editorial thing. But I think you could easily wear this quite a few different ways. And I really, really like the colour. Very neutral, very understated, very, very easy to style. So yeah, this skirt is an absolute win for me. I was not expecting to love it this much, but I do. <laughs> now lastly, I wanted to show you some shoes that I've picked up. So the first pair are from a brand called Asra. Now I actually attended a little like press event with them um, a couple of weeks ago and they very, very kindly sent me a pair and they are stocked on ASOS. So that's why I wanted to feature them in this video. They've told me they're coming out in the beginning of October. I'm gonna pray that I can find a link for you guys. If not, I will just write coming soon. Then as soon as they drop, I will add the link into this video. So if you're watching this after a couple of weeks, it's been live, they should definitely be in stock. But if not, come back. I will be featuring them on my Instagram. I will be linking them for you guys. You will be able to shop them. So these are the boots and I am absolutely obsessed with them. They are the softest boots I have ever tried in my life. So they let us try on some of the boots whilst we were at the press event the other week. Um, and I tried these on and I was like, oh my gosh. Now one problem I often have with boots is at the top, 
they cut my legs. I don't know if you guys find this. If I don't wear like high socks, I literally will get like cuts on my shins from the boots. And these, I was literally, I was like standing like this, just kept squatting and I was like, I don't feel it, I don't feel it. Um, and all the girls were laughing at me. So these are the softest leather boots I've ever tried in my life. They are lace up, which is a bit annoying. Um, I like it when they've got a zip on the side so you can just chuck them on and off, but I know that's just a lazy girl in me. Um, so yeah, I picked these up in a 37, which is a four. They are very, very like the tread on the bottom as well. These are the kind of boots you're just gonna wear all throughout winter and they're gonna last you so, so long. I must admit, I'm not really a Doc Martin kind of a gal because I don't like the thought of having to wear in my shoes. Like I know everyone says that once you've worn them in, they are like a dream, but I hate blisters. I hate it when my feet are uncomfortable. If a pair of shoes give me blisters, I literally won't wear them again. So I like my shoes to be comfortable from the get go. And these are so, so soft. So I'm really excited about them. I literally haven't brought them out of the packaging yet because I just want to keep them pristine because they're so, so pretty. And also, actually, a feature that I really like is that all the Astra boots have, like, a little... I don't know if you can see this very well, but they've got the little A logo there, which I think is just such a cute little, like, design detail. Um, so, yeah, definitely check out Astra. If the boots aren't online, I'll just link to Astra's, like, main page anyway because they have such gorgeous boots on there. I'm obsessed. They've got so many, so many cute things coming out over the next couple of months. So, um, yeah big fan of these and here we have the astra boots i am obsessed with how they look they are so so comfy like honestly i was literally in the showroom just doing this i was like oh my god they're not cutting my legs you can't feel <laughs> all the girls are cracking up at me but they are so so cute they're also really light for winter boots which if you're the kind of girl that doesn't like really heavy chunky boots these are for you because they're really light actually like they honestly feel like I'm wearing socks, I don't know how they've done it, they are so, so cute, and really, really classic, these are the kind of things you can wear with skirts when it's autumn, and then you can wear with, like, jeans and trousers in winter, and then next spring again, you can wear them with dresses, so I really love how these boots look, I think these are such a classic item in my wardrobe, as I said, I will link to Astra's, like, section on ASOS down below, so make sure to check out their boots, these are such a kind PR present, I really, really love how they look. And next, I picked up an item which probably you're thinking like, oh, Ellie, you don't wear trainers all that often. Um, and you're right, I don't. But I saw these and I was like, these are flipping cute. So I picked them up. They are a pair of Adidas trainers. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know names of trainers. I'm not really cool enough for that. Um, so this is what they look like. <laughs> Taking them out of the box so you can see them properly. Oh, it says on the side, Ad Adipreme Plus. Is that the name of them? I have no clue. But I saw these online and I was like, they are really, really cool. They remind me a bit of the New Balance ones. Um, they're just a bit more my style. I'm not really the kind of girl that like buys trainers just for the fact that they're like on trend. I know that everyone loves like the Nike trainers, but they're just not really my style. And I always think if it's not my style, what's the point in buying it? So yeah, I picked these up. I think they're really, really cool. I got them in a four, which looks perfect for me. I'm like a three and a half. So normally in trainers, I go up to a four. Cause obviously you can like tie them a bit tighter and like, they're not exactly gonna slip off, are they? So um, yeah, I feel like these are great, like walking around London, wanting to be comfortable, but still look quite chic, kind of a trainer. And then these are what the trainers look like. Obviously I haven't tied them up properly or anything, but I love them. They're really, really cool. They're like the perfect chunkiness for me. I don't like trainers that are too chunky, um, just because obviously as I'm quite small human, sometimes it can look a little bit silly and like I'm wearing clown shoes but I feel like these are big enough that they're like really cool girl kind of a vibe without being too like wool so um yeah love these we'll link them down below they are really really cute and if I didn't have enough black boots already we've got another pair in here <laughs> I've actually already worn these around London so I'm not going to be putting my hands on the bottom because they are going to be filthy down there but it's this gorgeous pair of chunky boots now Little bit of story time. I've been looking for a pair of this style of boots for a very long time. You guys know I have my Nasty Eye Chunky boots, which I absolutely love, but they're very, like, low cut, if that makes sense. So these come a lot higher up above your ankle, like, onto your shin. But I have the world's biggest calves. I was talking about this on my stories, actually, and it was really nice because I got so many messages from you guys, like, oh, my God, I have big calves, too. And it's something I never knew about myself until chunky boots came into style, like knee-high boots came into style. Let me tell you how difficult it is to find knee-high boots when you have big calves. It's practically impossible. So one of the issues I've had is finding these that don't make me look like I have a roll of fat coming over the boots. Like, a lot of these are really, really cute. Like, I, I saw a pair actually at Astra, 
and I really really liked them but they were so narrow at the top that like my legs just spilled over and it just looked so so unflattering so I saw these online and these are ASOS design wide fit so I was like oh my god if they're wide fit there will that mean that, that they're wide fit here and it does ladies and gents so I'll show you what these look like on because I'm in love with them they've got a really really cool like square toe which I think is a bit different as well and I just really really like them they are very heavy very chunky they're a workout in themselves when you're walking around in them but I'm obsessed and I love them and they're staying in my wardrobe for a very long time <laughs> Then I just thought I would show you how the boots look like on. Um, I thought I would just show you with this outfit because it's really annoying when you wear them with like jeans and you can't quite see like the tops of them or something. So um, yeah, these are the boots. I absolutely love them. They're so, so cool. Obviously they do come like a bit higher up as like my nasty girl ones. So as I said, a lot of them in this style are so tight on me and so unflattering. These ones, I don't have a bulge, which is a blooming miracle. So I really, really like how they look. I always find chunky boots are really flattering, especially with skirts and dresses, because it makes your legs look so much slimmer. So I really, really like how it looks. So yeah, that's these boots. I'm obsessed with them. I'll link them down below. I feel like these are such a staple in your wardrobe and so perfect if you're like me and you suffer from chunky calves. <laughs> Oh my word, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I need to lie down after that. That was a haul and a half. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from ASOS for Autumn. I really love that. ASOS for Autumn. If you are new, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and came and joined us. We absolutely love growing our little family. We're all very friendly over here. And I've got a lot more Autumn hauls that have already gone live and a few more coming your way. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.